they're cute, they're exclusively Australian. They are incredibly expressive. They go like, ding, ding, and they are very flirtatious. The male wants to get all of the attention of the female, like birds of paradise. About 10 years ago, my husband flicked me a YouTube video of a peacock spider dancing. And I, I just thought, I want to work with peacock spiders. I reached out to the person who had made the video, Jurgen Otto. He started filming them and putting them on YouTube on a channel called Peacock Spider-Man. And he's a scientist who collaborated in the first video. They have incredibly sophisticated courtship behaviors. The female chooses the male. She is pushing him to be uh, brighter colors than better dancer and better singer. So she's there, but she also dances and she is the one who is conducting his behavior. She is selecting the males as well during copulation and she will actually store the sperm and if she gets a better mate, she will dispose that sperm. All the sexual elements in an animal or in a plant. It's really extravagant. So humans are very simple in their genitalia, but in the invertebrates are very beautifully complex and there's a lot of titillating things. I was born in Colombia. As a child, I was always adventuring climbing trees and climbing rocks and observing, always looking for the small I have a magnifying glass that my father bought. I was in contact with frogs and lizards and snakes, and they were my friends. I was in contact with flies, so I worked with them. My cats had fleas, so I ended up making a flea circus. In Australia, I started to work with the Maratus spiders for the past 10 years. I wanted to be able to see and to display the Maratus at a human scale. They are in average five millimeters big and it's 260 times larger than the actual size. The biggest challenge for me was to make the eyes look at you and the eyes. Therefore, as a viewer, you are in visual communication. You know, you are talking to him or you are seeing him, you are engaging with him and you feel like a spider. When we look at them, they are so minute, we don't see them, we don't perceive them, we step on them, we kill them by accident. So as a human, if you put an enlarged spider at your scale, then it's a very different relationship. And then you might stop and pay attention. The thing that amazes me the most about the Maratus is not how beautiful they are, it's how small they are and how sophisticated they are. What I would like to people is to appreciate the spiders as performing artists in their own right, because they have a lot of skills. They deserve attention, they deserve praise, they deserve admiration. They are the artists. 